Hello and welcome back. This is Christopher Aaron. This is the iGold Advisor channel. It is November 28th, 2024, and it is time for a silver price alert. We are going to answer the question, where is the support for silver now? It is Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving if you are here in the United States. Over the last three weeks since Donald Trump won the victory for the next president, we have seen some weakness in the price of silver. So in this update, we're going to talk about where is the support for silver now according to what matters most, which is the visible evidence on the chart. If you have a moment to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified, that will be good because otherwise you might miss an update. And I would very much appreciate it if you have a moment to hit the thumbs up button right below the video. It really does help out the algorithm here on YouTube. So thanks for that. Last but not least, we have a free, yes, free X or Twitter account at iGlobalGold, and some weeks when I don't have a chance to post here on YouTube, I post quicker updates there for free on X. So you should follow that so you do not miss anything happening with the precious metals or the currency or the commodity markets. All right, let's look at the silver price alert. Where is the support for silver now? Our legal disclaimer for one moment. And let's take a look at the intermediate term perspective so we're looking from the lows the coronavirus crash lows through the peak in 2020 the four-year broadly sloping downward trend you can see here in the blue royal blue thick colors here downward trend that what was broken higher in march of this year and since that breakout occurred, silver has been in this wave pattern, moving one or two steps forward, one and a half steps backward, two steps forward, and now it's taking those steps backward. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what the existing pattern is. Since the breakout, since we violated the downward trend, what? We can see that silver is in a new rising trend and this rising trend is taking the shape of a wedge pattern can you see the resistance here we're talking the light dashed blue line follow from where my mouse is here pay attention to the dashed the dashed up here dash dash dashed right so we have this upward uh, resistance level and then here for support we have a more aggressive rising support level Right now, if we were to measure this support right here where my mouse is, that support comes in at $29 exactly, $29 on the dot. And the resistance, by the way, comes in at $35.70. So all we're looking at here is over the course of the last two years, where are the buyers emerging and where are the sellers emerging? And they are emerging now at these levels. Now, the interesting thing for silver is that in addition to the $29 level that you can see right here, we also have additional support at the $30 level, which is shown here in the turquoise color. Now, the turquoise color does represent a broken trend. For example, you can see how silver broke above 30 and then back below it and above and below it. So that tells us that it's a broken level. However, broken trends often act as support or resistance again in the future. And we can see that 30, in fact, did act as support. Look right here where my mouse was. You can see this swing low right back here from August. And then you can see this swing low right back here just two weeks ago from early November. So the $30 level is also acting as support still. And so in sum, what we can say is there is support at $29, which is rising, and $30. So in sum, there is a zone of support in this $1 band between $29 and $30 that, remember the rule now, the rule is that 
support is valid until proven otherwise. So right now, this support zone between $29, which is rising, and 30 which is flat, this is still valid. And therefore, the overall pattern is still valid. And you should be able to see this pattern. It's very clear. You look at the highs that are all matching up right in here, and you look at the lows that are all matching up right in here. So silver is in this rising wedge pattern until proven otherwise. And what I'm going to be looking for here over the course of the next one to three weeks, maybe we extend that into the holidays, the Christmas and New Year holiday that are coming up. I'm going to be looking for this 29 region plus or minus a few cents to hold. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see a daily, maybe even a couple day violation, maybe even an intra week violation of the $29 level like I'm showing here with the orange arrow. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that to kind of scare people and flush people out before silver makes its, its next attempt at the next leg higher. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. So what we're really going to be watching here for are weekly closes. We want to see weekly closes hold above $29 in the spot market. Right now, silver is trading at 29.82. So weekly closes above 29 keep the existing pattern valid for the silver market, which would take us, if you notice the, um, the apex of this wedge here, it would take us into the vicinity of $45, $46. Functionally speaking, that's right below 50. It would take us there basically as we get into late 2025. So this is how the silver market looks now. Remember, support and resistance levels, the rule is valid until proven otherwise. That is always the rule in technical analysis of the markets. Valid until proven otherwise. So we're going to watch for the support. We'll measure the support, and then we will evaluate the support, how the market reacts in the weeks following this support test. $29 and rising is the key level. We do not want to see the breakdown below 29 because then we look at this market and we say, this is probably setting up for a continuation of this kind of multi-year grind, similar to how this was in from 2020 to 2024. So that is the level that we want to see now into the holiday weeks. And I would extend that into the first week after we get back from the holidays. Guys, if there are any violations of this support that would require us to change our model on silver and our outlook, our premium subscribers to our Precious Metals Intelligence Plus service will be the first to know about it. I may not publish that update here for several weeks after the support violation occurs, if it were to occur. However, our premium subscribers will receive a flash update the moment that that happens to their email inbox, and it will contain a video analyzing the precious metals analysis, just like you are seeing now, but at exactly the moment that either a breakout or a violation occurs. So you should consider joining us if you are a serious precious metals investor in Precious Metals Intelligence Plus. Not only do you receive analysis on silver, but also physical gold, the gold and silver mining sector. We have expanded coverage. We have a new target for Bitcoin and a new target for the stock market. We also publish the exact buy and sell signals of all the trades and the gold and silver mining companies that we are investing in here. So whether you have decades of experience, but you need a good technical model for these markets, or if you are completely new to the precious metals market, you cannot afford to be without an accurate technical roadmap for the precious metals on a timely basis. Precious Metals Intelligence Plus is for you. If you are a higher net worth investor, 
you should know that we have a service complementary to Precious Metals Intelligence Plus, which is called Elite Private Placements. This is for higher net worth investors where you receive the most leverage possible when you're buying gold and silver mining companies. And the way that you receive the most leverage is because you get free, yes, free warrants with every single investment that you make. You also receive a free subscription of our flagship Precious Metals Intelligence Plus if you join us in the Elite Private Placement Service. Last but not least, I offer consultations. I sit down with individuals such as yourself. If you're new to the precious metals, if you would like to discuss from an independent standpoint, I do not sell the precious metals and I do not take any kickbacks whatsoever from any of the precious metals dealerships. So you have to be very careful where you're getting your research and your analysis from if you're just approaching this market for the first time. Or if you would like to discuss your specific gold and silver mining holdings, I'm happy to do that with you. Again, from the standpoint of someone who approaches this market from an independent standpoint. So I hope that you will join us in one of these ways. We see the support for silver at $29 and rising. There's that additional support at 30. We want to see that held on weekly closes to maintain the current rising pattern for silver. <laughs>